Welcome to August, my friends. Five minutes with Sean, maybe 10. Appreciate you joining us as always. Today, we're going to talk about cocky versus confident. And I, I talk about this a lot when talking with clients or talking with anyone, actually, that I think a lot of this comes down to delivery and how you represent what it is that you do or know or who you know or how you know, it, whatever that is. I think it really comes down to you being able to express that in a way that comes across as confident as opposed to cocky. And I say this full well knowing that in the majority of my life, if people were to describe me probably in one word in my 20s, it would probably be arrogant, cocky, somewhere in that realm of words. Because... When delivering who I was and what I was about, I made it the point to either lead with the financial aspect of what it is that I did or the fact that I could do whatever I want and that's why I do what I do. And I, if I wanted to go do your job, I'd fucking go do your job. It wouldn't matter to me. And that, again, served me well in my 20s, maybe, I don't know, it, it, it didn't. No one said much to me publicly. I know people behind my back said it because I was unfortunately like in a workspace would fall into that a lot, especially like walking into like a break room. It's like the worst place for me um, because I am that person who ruffles feathers wherever I go. And, and again, when I was younger, it was because I thought that was the way to get through to people. Now I realize that that has nothing to do with how to get through to people. Um, I still have the same exact mentality, if not times 10 that I had in my 20s for doing what's right, seeing what's right, right? So that's a whole thing for me um, that I think when you look at it, you, you have to be able to deliver your message of whatever the topic is directly and honestly, but without that sort of I, 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 right? It's just, it's more of a, I have learned and try to take that sentence out as long as you can and, and don't use the next I, 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 those kind of follow, follow, follow sentences. On the same turn, I don't think it's possible to get where successful people get without a touch of arrogance and cockiness that they are better than whoever they're standing next to or whatever they're up against. To some extent, I, I think that drive is in there. But again, I still believe that how you deliver on that message is different. So now what I do when I talk with people to sort of, you know, not that I have to show my level of expertise, but like if I'm being interviewed by a client, right, potential client, someone who wants to do business with you. When I first started this company, I would tell people right away in the first five minutes that if you hire me to sell you more cars, let's shake hands and part ways as friends. I'm leaving because that's not my job. Which is a good bit and it works in most cases. You got to know your audience and whatever. That was nine years ago. Now the delivery is more like, look, we can only work with a certain number of people. So if you want to be committed to this, it's about looking at your entire data set has nothing to do was selling cars to my extent. That's what I'm saying because I've learned over nine years that it is, it is either, as we talked about recently on Today in 5 Minutes History, it, it's either people, process, technology, or a horrible combination of all three. And, and, and marketing partners, vendors, etc. that kind of plays into the third part there. So all of that together is really what our job is. So that's how I deliver it now. And I think that is a fine line between knowing how to say and what to say and actually saying it where people will listen to it. If that makes any, any sense. So think about it the next time you're in a room and feel it necessary to, I don't know, one up a story or puff out your chest about something, potentially see how you can shift it to make it look as if it's more about confidence and less about being cocky. So that's it. Quickly here to kick off your August. That's the topic. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you again next week.